It's time to see who has SA's way better family recipe on Clover's Little Big Cook-Off. Hello and welcome to a special wildcard edition of Clover's Little Big Cook-Off. competition is over. 12 teams prepared their best family recipes and demonstrated their creative baking skills right here in the Way Better Kitchen. Eight teams made it through to round two and four big cook and little cook combinations found themselves being sent home. Well, today we will give those four teams a second chance at gastronomic glory in a special wild card cook-off. The teams will face three challenges. One team will fall each round and the last standing team earns their way back into the competition. And why do all of the teams want to win this competition so badly? What is it that they're cooking for besides pride and bragging rights? This year's winners of Clover's Little Big Cook-Off will get a beautiful kitchen makeover, compliments of Clover and Cordev Kitchens made in Germany with appliances sponsored by Bosch, all to the value of 300,000 Rand. On top of that, the team will also win a week-long fantasy holiday to Disney World in Orlando, Florida, courtesy of Clover. But our contestants are not the only ones who stand to win. You too can get in on the action. Simply buy any two Clover Dairy promotional products, follow the instructions on the pack, and you could win 1,000 Rand daily. Okay, so let's get the four teams cooking for their lives back into the way better kitchen, the Purple Pumpkins. <laughs> Hello, Elif. How are you guys doing? Fine, and you? Good. Are you happy to be back? Yes. Today is our last chance to get into the finals, and we're going to give it our all. Let's meet your competition, Al Shaddai, Manaka and Blessing. <laughs> How are you feeling to be back in this kitchen? Does it feel like home yet? Oh, yes, it does. I don't want to leave this kitchen. What can we expect from you this time around? Better attitude, bigger smiles, and Bigger everything. <laughs> Coming up next, we've got the colourful tangy twist. Hello, Eleanor. Hello. How confident are you that you can beat the other teams? I'm pretty confident. So you're feeling psyched and ready to go? Yes. OK, let's meet the sisters in action. Bongani and Denga. How does it feel to be given a second chance? We're going to take this by both hands and give the other teams a run for their money. We've got our second chance now, and we just hope that we are the family that stays. It's now time to welcome the judges, Chef Koke Martin. Welcome back in the Way Better Kitchen. Big cooks, little cooks. Thank you. Your second chance as well. So we really expect you to use it wisely. That's right, teams. For one of you, that dream can come true of winning Clover's Little Big Cook-Off. But first, there is the matter of the three challenges that you will have to face. Well, I hope the challenge is not a quiz. <laughs> we don't want to do quizzes. And we hope it's not baking, because we're not good at that either. The first challenge is a skills test and teamwork challenge. I'm thinking it will be like cupcakes. When I tell you, you can lift the cloche to reveal your ingredients. Three, two, one. Lift your cloche. Eggs, salt, white pepper, vinegar, mustard, sunflower oil. Any idea of what you'll be making? Mayonnaise. <laughs> and all the families are like, mayonnaise, and they're like, oh. <laughs> <laughs> Indeed, you'll be making mayonnaise. This type of mayonnaise. <laughs> when I heard it was mayo, I, I was like, oh my goodness, what am I going to do? I felt like taking that tray and throwing it at the judges. And I'm like, mayonnaise, why? Mayonnaise? I don't like mayonnaise. Mayonnaise, guys, is an emulsion of oil, egg yolks, some uh, lemon juice, or sometimes vinegar, but it's a variety of different flavors. Mayonnaise can vary in color. Sometimes it's white, cream, pale yellow, okay? And the consistencies also vary. 
from a very light creamy to something very thick and gelish like this one. If I had to turn this mayonnaise over, it will not come out of the bowl, okay? <laughs> and this is how we're going to be testing your mayonnaise. Mayonnaise can be made by hand, or you can make it with the aid of an electronic mixer or a blender. But of course today you're not going to make it with a blender or a mixer, you're going to make it with your own hands. <laughs> We've never made mayo before. <laughs> so it's going to... Ever. Not even with a mixer. The secret of making mayonnaise, it's the dribbling of the oil into the mixture. At the beginning, you have to go drop by drop, and when it starts really emulsified, there you have a very nice little stream of oil coming into the mixture. And that's very important, otherwise your mayonnaise will separate and it will be on the floor. The rules of this challenge are very simple. The first three teams to make their mayonnaise will move on to the next round and the last team will go home. Got it? Yes. Let's do this. Three, two, one, go. Yeah, like that, like that. It's just really sticky. There you go. We need to go a bit speedy, okay? Come, put it in quicker. Okay, come. People are already eating. Oh, okay, go. Faster. Yeah. Okay. Emulsifying process. You have never heard that word in your life before, and here you need to know what it's all about. The only thing that stuck in my head was sea bubbles. It must be nice, nice, nice bubbles first before we start. Okay, feet, you must carry on. I'm gonna drip it in. Whisk, 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 whisk. I'm whisking, 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 whisking. No, beat fast. <laughs> Look, mommy, show you quickly. Okay, you do it. I dribble. Come, you do it. Add the oil. Please, please. Pushing boundaries, add the oil. This is mayonnaise. It's a big deal. Train smash for her. Just roll off steady, steady. Yeah, like that, like that. Drip. Like a steady stream, maybe. A steady what stream. What I'm doing? No, you're not. Go, not drip. There, go. No, carry on. So my mom is beating viciously. Like, and furious. <laughs> while I'm adding the oil. She's saying, go, go, go. And she's pressurizing me. It was hard, eh? Yeah, hard, 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 hard. When I was whisking, my mom thought that I wasn't going to do it right. I think she didn't have faith in me. No, no. But um, I came through. I'm doing well. Let's get in there, let's get in there, let's get in there. Whisk, mother, whisk. Whisk, whisk, whisk. Whisk, mola. Nekhonyaka, somebody wailing kora ona lady mass house. And I didn't have a problem with it since I'm a police officer. Yo, you're so fast, man. <laughs> and you thought I could not And I thought you can't do it. Yo, you're showing me. Yo, I'm getting sore, hey? <laughs> it's tiring on your arms, hey? Faster, faster. Look at the picture. <laughs> let's see how it is. Let's see, let's see, let's see. Oh, I can see it. It's All right. Nice. Don't stop, don't stop. Just go fast. Even if you only get sore, come on. It's like rowing. <laughs> come. When was never quick, but it's never one. Come. Come, come, come. Let's go, let's go, let's go. Mm. Why are they touching me? Mayonnaise. But at least I did all the whisking, so I don't know why he's stressing out. But it didn't go on your hands, it went on my hands. Is it thickening up? Mm -hmm. When I looked around, I saw that the other teams had their own techniques of whisking. <laughs> we got a problem here. The, the mixing like this. Is that going to work? I hope so. Sure. My arm gets tired and I realise that I could, I could whisk uh, in that electric uh, mix a motion and it actually helped. Go, 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 go like this now. Go, go, go. Oh, this is the fastest I can go. Go, mommy, go faster. Super mommy in the house. Last one, yeah. quickly, quickly, quickly. Look, mommy. No, it doesn't look right, dude. Stop pressuring me. <laughs> you like my math teacher. <laughs> quickly, then I go quickly now. I think this is the thickest bowl. Okay, we just stop. Okay, I'm one. I will do not mind this. You are getting there. Yes, I am, I can see. Oh, it's becoming really thick. Have you tried something? I think it will work. What? Go like this. Mm -hmm. You can either see Chef Ramsay or anyone do it like that way. Okay, mm -hmm. try. 
Do you think so? Yeah. Ready? Ready? Ready. Here comes Coco. Go, go, go. More, more, more. I'm like, I can't put in everything. What if it falls off? Is that enough for more? Yeah, just one. Okay. When he raised his hand to turn it around, it was like a slow motion effect. It's like my heart was beating so fast. First team set. <laughs> Sense of relief. Yes, Mom, are we ready? Are we ready? Yeah. Ready. I'm like, no, Bobo. Ready. Ready? It's yeah. not ready, even though. Chef Martin came to our station and he looked at us with that look and he took the bowl up. Yes! <laughs> yes! He made it. Come, quickly, 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 quickly. And in that moment, I'm thinking, don't you dare spill over. Safe. Too late. Not safe. Cool. Sorry, cops. I think we were finished at the same time. We just didn't lift our arms quickly enough. Our first team that finished, Colourful Tangy Twist. Congratulations, Eleanor and Brenda. <laughs> well done to Monaco and Blessing, Al Shaddai. And our third team through, Sisters in Action, Denga and Bongani. Jellyfish, jellyfish, jellyfish. Woo! Congratulations, guys. So sadly, Purple Pumpkins, I'm afraid you didn't make it. Elif, we're going to miss you. It's okay. You did your best. Elif and Zilda, you can be very proud of yourselves. You got this far. You are certainly an unforgettable little star. You're not going away empty-handed. We've got a Bosch mixer for you, compliments of Clover, and a whole lot of other goodies to give away to you. So thank you. Thank you. Thank you. A little bit disappointed. However, I'm sure the other teams were slightly better than us. And that's how the game goes. Going into the next challenge, uh, we need to focus more on teamwork. Um, despite what the other one doesn't like, we, we need to make sure that we work together. I didn't believe that we actually got through. So, pinch me. <laughs> Not really. <laughs> Can we carry on with the show now? <laughs> Three teams left, two challenges to go, and just one spot available in the next round. Are you ready to hear what we have in store for you next? Yes. 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 <clears throat> Martin, take it away. Next up is a smoothie challenge. Mm -hmm. <gasps> Little Cooks, you look really excited. <laughs> yes, we are. <laughs> All of us children, we were smiling with the biggest smiles ever because it's something we all love, drinking and eating and and we all know how to make it. Smoothie contains sometimes honey, syrup, peanut butter, lemon cross, sweet basil. Choice is yours. Yogurt is a staple base ingredient of the smoothie and you will have the classic yogurt range to use in this challenge. How about trying Amasi in your smoothies? Mars has a heritage as rich and diverse as South Africa itself. If you like Mars, you are going to love Clover's Amasi. This challenge is all about taste. The teams with the two best tasting smoothies will move on to the next final round of the wild card challenge. Third place is just not going to be good enough. So you better up your games, guys. Big Cooks and Little Cooks, you will have 30 minutes to complete your smoothie. Off to your stations. Let's do it. Let's do it. Mommy, do you're it. not even doing it right. <laughs> the first thing we did was we tasted how the amazi and the yogurt would go together. We decided to use vanilla milk because that has been one of our favorite things. Mm, I love it. Yes. What are we so we're going to make a 
cherry vanilla flavored smoothie. Got some vanilla milk. The trick with smoothies is that always make it fruity and munchy, something that can just give it flavor. We decided to use amazi because we wanted that sourish taste in it to complement the natural sugar from our fruits. And we're not going to use any fruits. So what do we um, use? We're going to add frozen berries, cook it. Hello ladies, how are we doing? We're doing well and we have decided on our combination. We're going for a fruity, fruity crunchy. And you're using yogurt or using the amas? We're actually using three. We're using yogurt, amas yeah. and some milk. Ah. Yeah. Um, how's it going there, Mama? I'm only waiting for you coming. The mango? Oh. It's just that it's a little bit slippery. I'm looking around a little bit in, this, in the other stations and I'm realizing that almost everybody is doing something to do with fruits. It looks like we're all thinking the same. So I'm thinking this is going to be a tight one. How did you put in here the The um, cherry preserve. Sisters in action. Yes. Tell me about your smoothie. I thought we could go for something vanilla -y and very cherry. Eleanor, you are a little bit too slow, my baby. Okay, sorry. Teams, you got 10 minutes up, you got 20 minutes to go. See, we need to. Okay, mommy, sorry. When we pour it in with glass, we can have the almonds as a layer. The almonds were my idea. We thought it would be nice to have something to chew on also. You know what I was thinking? So having the smoothie and the berries, then the smoothie, almonds, and then the smoothie, and then the judges can put the straw or spoon through and then eat everything. Let's get something crunchy. Yay, I thought there's something to one, Shay. Eleanor, just bring us the lemon for me, please. I need you to cut the lemon for me. So we Enough. can have half of the lemon here. We're going to add pecan nut to give it that crunchiness. Just a little bit, not too much, mommy. Mm. How are we going to decorate? Um, you can get some vanilla pods. Teams, you are past the halfway mark. You have 13 minutes remaining. I can't find them. Oh, sorry. That's it. Brenda, how is it that yes. you always look so cool and calm and collected in the kitchen? I think my secret is pretending. Just chop this up, not too small. Yes, that's fine, that's fine. I'm gonna add these in here to get that vanilla extract. It's okay. Okay, good. I still can't taste the vanilla. Okay, let's add another one. Just a squeeze. No, I'm, I was, okay, no, just. just so one. Add, mm. then you're gonna pour on top. A layer, a layer, a layer. Tell me what do you think about this. Sure. Can't they just drink it all, mommy? <laughs> <laughs> so now we're just gonna um, garnish it. We're not gonna add anything else. We're just making a flower with our um, purple. I'm gonna take my lemon as a garnish and mint on the top as well. And they're not just everybody the same amount, eh? Not yeah, I'm trying my best. Okay. I'm not happy with the thickness, so I'm going to add a little bit of this a pulpo. I feel like that's a bit plain. Hey, tell us something to garnish, my dear. I thought we were using that to garnish. Now I'm happy with the thickness of my smoothie. You put it and then you squeeze it in. It looks cute. It looks cute, ne? Teams, you have five minutes left. Cut the banana and we put it here to show the judges the fruits. Oh, we can use. also make like circles yeah, exactly. or a necklace with it. So where are you going to put the banana? Just on the top. OK. Ah. No, this ain't going to work. Oh. It's a necklace. I'm a little upset with my sister because I asked her if we could put on something on the vanilla stick. You see, like these things look plain. What do you want to add? I don't know. Don't you think it's a bit too late? If you look at all the other teams' um, mm. decoration, it's there. And ours is like there, and then theirs is like over there. Oh, we want just to add a bit of a color here. 
It's a necklace, remember? <laughs> Teams, you have 30 seconds left. Granadina is giving us that aroma smell. Don't get anything on the board? Cheese. I'm on it's fine. Let's clean the station. Five, four, three, two, one. Step away from your smoothie. I can taste a bit of vanilla inside there. Obviously, you use the vanilla milk, but I see those as a vanilla pot on there. Yes. Did you put some of the Yes, we chopped in, in and then we popped in some uh, vanilla pods in there. Why did you decide to put some almonds on top? It's very difficult for me to, to drink it like that. We just wanted to show you what would be inside, uh, what you should expect. I'm a little bit concerned. It's because of the, the vanilla bot. Are you sure you didn't put the actual rind in there? Because that's the an actual crunch in there, which, which just doesn't, doesn't dissolve on my teeth, it actually. Okay. So we just chopped it and we threw it in, so I'm not sure if it blended in properly. You see the outside, you can't put it in there. Okay. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. I like the combination of banana and nuts, okay? But maybe to add a little bit of uh, uh, some sweetness. It's a bit bland, we but... We did uh, add a honey. You did add honey? Yes. Okay, I didn't get it. It does taste a little bit heavy, I think maybe because of the pawpaw and the combination of the mango, which can be quite heavy in a smoothie together. But it has that smooth taste, which is quite nice. I must say I like it, yes, it could be a tad sweeter. And I tried mine also with a, with a mint leaf that gives another different dimension to it. And we decided to make a necklace around for... A necklace? For Zeta. <laughs> Thank you, Blessing. Okay. Nice and crunchy. I like the flavour. The berries are really coming out nicely. Got a little bit of crunch in there, and I'm glad that it's only a little bit. It's and nice. the crunching is, we, did you take the seeds out of the granadilla, or you put it with no, the no, seeds? No, no, we put, put it, it with, with the, the seeds, seeds with the because seeds. we wanted more of the flavor of the granadilla as well. That's why we left the seeds, yes. Mm. So after careful consideration, we decided that one of the smoothies was the clear winner. And the team that will be going through to the next challenge in today's final is Colourful Tangy Twist. Now it's between us and the sisters. I'm frightened, but I'm going to accept whatever comes my way. Al Shaddai and Sisters in Action, one of you will be going through to the final challenge and one will be going home. The team that made the second tastiest smoothie is El Shaddai. We made it through and, oh, it was a wow feeling. Sadly, sisters in action, we bid you a farewell. It's been absolutely fantastic having you here in the Clover Way Better Kitchen. How was your experience? Yes, um, we had fun. I had an awesome time, got to know my sister better. She can make demands. The little big cook-off experience was fun, amazing. And I think we got to learn more about each other. We also have a fantastic Bosch mixer and all sorts of goodies, compliments of Clover for you to remember this experience by. So thank you very much. Thank you. <laughs> We are not leaving the kitchen. We are going to do mm -hmm. some more experimenting and hopefully we'll be back again um, for the third season of the Clover Little Big Cook-Off. And then there were two. Well done, Eleanor and Brenda, Blessing and Monaco. 
one place in the next round of Clover's Little Big Cook-Off. One challenge stands between you and that place. Want to know what it is? Yes. So we decided for this challenge to give you a dish that is a favorite of families all around the world. And what is that meal? Tell us. Idea? Tell us. Macaroni and cheese. <laughs> I was really excited that you're gonna make mac and cheese. I had tons and tons of ideas in my mind. Teams, you will have 60 minutes to make your tastiest version of a mac and cheese. But before you begin, I've got a little surprise for you. In this challenge, you will receive a little help from these two gentlemen. Colorful tangy twist, because you won the smoothie challenge, you get to pick a chef that you'd like to work with. You can choose. Coco. Okay. Oh, cool. <laughs> chef Coco <laughs> is with you, Al Shaddai. You will get Chef Martin. So this is how it's going to work. After I start the clock, I will leave the kitchen until the end of that hour. Before they give you any advice or physical help, they have to start the countdown clock. The timer is set to count down from 15 minutes, which is how much total time you have with them. So teens. You can decide how you would like to use those 15 minutes. You can either use it all at once or you can use it one little bit at a time. The choice is yours. One more thing, colorful tangy twist, left or right? Left. <laughs> left, okay, that means Coco, you will have your left hand behind you and he will only be able to work with his right hand. Martin? Unfortunately, that's the opposite for you. With I have the right hand behind it. I'm, I'm right-handed. That helps. Thank you. <laughs> okay, it must be behind your back the entire time that you are helping our teams. Martin and Coco, you will be policing yourselves, so I will not be here. Please play nicely. Will you make sure that they play nicely? Yes. Okay, good. <laughs> All right. So when I come back into the kitchen, there should be two delicious, distinctive plates of mac and cheese waiting for me to taste. I will not know which team made which macaroni and cheese. The team that gets the highest score will move on to the next round of the competition. The other team will unfortunately go home. Only one left standing. We need to be that team. Are you ready? Yes. Off to your stations. <laughs> Ma, what are you doing? Here goes my mom. I put the pasta into the cold water. <laughs> we can start over. Yes, we can. I think the nose is getting a little bit of the better of me, so I'm going to take it slower. She's making the same mistake. We're going to call on our chef to come and assist us. We just need three minutes, please. Thank you, Coco. Um, First of all, we have made macaroni and cheese before, and I know the main, the main thing about a proper mac and cheese is the sauce. What we also have to think ahead is how do we want to decorate it? How do we want to present it? Yes. Stop looking. <laughs> Can we take him off set, please? <laughs> and, and also, uh, what we want to do? Smoked chicken with a nice three, I want three cheese sauce with some nice fresh herbs. Chef Macha, yeah. can we have five minutes of Five minutes? Time? Yes. We need your advice here. Yeah. yeah, can you I give you another advice first? Yes. Water needs to be boiling before you put the pasta in. Water must be boiling. Yes, put this aside, oh get a new pot. Having a Chef Martin at our station was a blessing in disguise for us. Have you ever done a white sauce? No. We've never, never done a white sauce before. He suggested that we made white sauce, which we didn't really think of, not at all. Let the butter melt, put a little bit of flour inside there, then you add milk, you stir milk in with, a, with, with your whisk. 
Okay. Yes. And you bring it to the boil, you're gonna stir it all the time. Put some salt, some pepper, and some nutmeg. I'm just thinking ahead, maybe we have some crumb mushrooms on the top. Okay. Why don't you put the mushroom with the Can I put the mushroom? Inside? Can I make it a crumb mushroom? Then it has a little bit of a texture. It's gonna be a bit too soggy. Right, okay. And if I can make a suggestion, Sarada, she likes curry. She loves curry. Just take a little bit of curry powder inside there. You can either put the curry in the vegetables, or you can put the curry in the, into your white sauce already. You get the, a little bit of curry flavor, yeah. just a hint. That's going to work on our flavor, I know. And then you take muffin pans. Yeah. You know the muffin yeah. trays, the little cups? Yeah. And you fill it inside here, put some cheese on top, you pop it in the oven, yeah? Yes. Maybe. Hey, 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 hey. Coco! See, he's playing not fair. So yes, told us we must, play, we must play fair. Exactly. Teams, you only got 45 minutes left. Time goes fast, ne? When you're having fun. <laughs> I'm gonna get the pan right now, ne? Yes. Make it quick. Already we used our 15 minutes. Ask Coco to come and help us with the, with the sauce. Minutes? Three minutes. Can you please come again? Three minutes. Three minutes? You need to fry your... Mushroom, mushroom in, okay, and you're gonna do the sauce in the same pan. So you keep all the flavor. If you can quickly chop this one, this one must get off, it's too, I'm sure it's cooked already. It mustn't be overcooked, Jagger. Check them, you can even taste. It's getting there. Coco has advised us to, to make sure that we make our sauce all in one pot because we wanted to make it in different pots. But for the flavors to, to really melt together, he's um, given us the advice of actually putting it all in one. Just a little bit higher with your hand. Okay, put it back on your heat. I'm okay. only waiting for you. With the garlic? Uh, hey. Yeah. It is half done. Or is half done? Eh? the stove. Eh? Hey. Okay, mm -hmm. here's. Must I do the second switch one? Off, well? Switch her off the stove. Uh, where is this one? One. Yeah, just yeah. two. Okay, yeah. Just two. to advise us on the sauce. If... The mushroom will not cook enough yet. Okay. So what you have to do is to let them lose more water oh, okay. Okay, by cooking. Here Coco comes and tells me something that I didn't know, that mushroom gives off so much water that it makes everything more watery. So you actually need to let your mushroom cook a little bit longer. Chef Mata? Yeah? Two minutes. Two minutes. I like the sound of that. Nice sizzling, okay. perfect. White sauce you still need to make. Okay. okay. Butter into the pan. Oh, okay. Quick, quick, quick. Butter in the pan. Once the butter is melted, get some, you got some flour. No, not yes. corn flour, normal flour. Two tablespoons of, of, of um, flour in there. Mm -hmm. Like a whisk. Just stir it nicely and then add some milk in there. And at the end, you just add some cream in there as well, all right? I saw the way you tossed it. It was like really quite cool the way you tossed it with only one hand. Chicken must go in there now. Yeah, chicken must come in here. Yeah, yeah. Put this one here. Not my, there we go, start melting this. My two minutes are over. I don't okay. leave. Okay. Thank you. Teams, you have used half of your time. So we have only 30 minutes left. Two spoons in the pan. Yes. You put two like this. Maybe. Is it big enough? Like this. We're making it as well as I get. I think we should just like use this. Yeah, we can even use this. We did yeah. so. Don't waste, you see now. Are we done? Sorry, my dear. Mommy, I think you should deal with this because I don't know what we're going to do. Put the whole bottle of milk in here. So Where? Open, open, open. Is it on? But, um, the, this is Italy. Yeah. Too much of it. Oh, I think that's enough cream. Stir it, stir it, I think stir we need stir more stir chili. It. Okay, now we can pick, pick our cheese. So like that much? Yes. And a little bit more. Call chef mutton for us. Yes, how much time? Uh, three minutes. Three minutes. Oh, Can I just this. check something here? This you must stir constantly here. Yeah? Okay. Otherwise it's going to make lumps. Because you didn't do what I said. He noticed that lump. there are lumps in my sauce. And uh, he assisted us. And 
I made it a point that I whisk very hard for the lumps to disappear. Create the cheese, put it yes. straight inside here. Yes. Once you've done that, you add all three components together. Have you put some curry powder already? Yes, I did. Huh? Come, bring it. Bring it. Uh, no, I will do it quickly. I'll great, do great, it great, quickly. Great, perfect. Time is not on my side. So then my mom ended up taking the whole bowl and she's the one that grated the cheese for me. Yes. You know what, my girl? You're going to be a lot. I think it's fine. Quickly go and get um, the bowl so that we can mix the things together. The big bowl. Big, yeah. Big. Big bowl. Big bowl. Big bowl. Big bowl. Coco, can you come for us, please? <laughs> for how long? For one minute? For one minute, yeah. This, this, this is uh -huh. very important. I've tasted it, it tastes right for me. Because of too much water of the mushroom, you need some more salt. Okay. Okay. Let's put our... What are we putting in there? I'm just gonna... Oh. It's so far, Duke. It's hot. Right. I think you need to call me. So for my time, two minutes. Two minutes? Yes. Sure. Our eggs. Where are two our minutes. eggs? There's the eggs. We taste it. It looks great. Let me stir this one for you a little bit. We're gonna cook in these. Go, go, go. Help. Oh, those cups, cups, cups. Okay. We're gonna cook it in cups. Put this, put water, you put them in. And you take some more grated cheese, you put it over. Taste. Please make sure it tastes nice. If you like taste. it, then everybody taste. else will like it. Taste and Especially Serrata must like it. How is it? Tasteless. You need a little bit more salt. You get that like spicy taste afterwards. That's perfect. Okay. It's not sour. All right, it's add this. Sweet. Add it in there. I don't know. All right, in my girl, come and taste this one. And you fill it up to the rim, okay, all the way up, and then you put some more cheese on top. You just create a little Again. bit more cheese, and then you put it in the oven. Okay. And then you clean up, it and then you nice. work on two plates. Make the plates look beautiful. Nice garnish on there, some herbs. Make it look beautiful, okay? All right, keep it in the oven for about 10 minutes, 15 maybe. I take, okay. um, bye. bye. We're feeling quite safe, um, but I think we should now hurry up because our thing needs to get into the oven. So, um, but we love Coco's support and he's really encouraging us to use him. I will do it. We feel it to the brain. Eh? Eleanor, can I have a spoon, a big spoon, to dish into the cups? Put some cheese on there. Yes, too much. No, no, that's enough. I think it's okay now. What do you no, think? No, 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 no. No, no, no. Wipe, wipe, wipe. We're running out of time, and my mom was a little bit slow because she's getting a little bit old. She's like really <laughs> slow. Oh, wow, oh, cheese. Bring cheese. No Run. cheese. Run. Run, bless it. Run, run. Oh, we are cooking for our lives here. Yeah. Yeah. Guys, you got 15 minutes left in this competition. Use it wisely. Putting the cups into water, it's called Bay Marie kind of cooking. I've never heard of that. I've seen it, but never done it. Awesome technique. Coco, two more minutes, please. 20 out of 10. Thank you. <laughs> Here, yeah. add some water add some up more to water. here. Okay, I'll take okay. the water. Yeah, that should be fine. I'll put it. High five. Yes. <laughs> I love Coco's energy in the kitchen. He totally has energy. And the way he was just spewing us on and high-fiving uh, fiving us. Just a little bit. Put, put my gun. Don't put too much. Okay, 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 mother. Hey. Sorry. <laughs> the cheese is melting nicely. <laughs> I'm loving what I'm seeing. Uh, so far, my uh, turn, two minutes, please. Two minutes, sure. Don't put the chili on there. Just put some herbs, 
Yes. They, 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 there's a sweet basil there. Let me just go with you. Come, 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 come. Oh, yes. One minute. Coco, can we have you for one minute, please? Yes. Which plates do you think we should take? Big plates. There, come. Bring it here. Bring it here. No, no. Use this place. Okay, what? Let me just see. You've got something. There's some basil pesto. Take some pesto. Take a little spoon and put a little bit of pesto on the side here. Not too much. Your main, your main, your hero of your plate is your your macaroni and cheese. Okay. You put the cap here, mm -hmm. and then this one on top. Okay. Okay. Thank you. You remove that from the oven when they start counting. When this is nice, leave it closed. It's it's nice and golden idea. brown. When it's nice and golden brown, they're ready to take out. Then you let it sit for three, four minutes before you take it out the pan so it can nicely set. Okay, bye. Thank bye. you. <laughs> it's coming out nice and brown. Crisp. Lovely. That's a yeah, step. even it's fine. It's golden brownish, I guess. Let's remove them. They're golden brownish now. Yeah, we're having a challenge. How are we going to remove them in here? We really didn't know how to dish up, so we decided that we should call Chef Art. You've got three minutes left on the clock, yes. OK? So just let it sit for another minute, and then you just take a spoon and then just scoop it out like this. Try to take one out like this. Mm -hmm. If it doesn't work, take a spoon and scoop it out like this and put it straight on the plate. That's all you need to what, do. What do you think now? I think it's beautiful. You guys did a fantastic job. Thank you me, so much. Give me one of them. Well done. The addition process was not that easy since we didn't have much time for our dish to cool down. Teams, we have two and a half minutes. Yes, I think we're running out of time. My heart is pounding as I'm opening up this oven because first of all, I don't want to spoil these things. I've never done the water cooking, so I'm taking it out as carefully as possible. Don't want to spill any, don't want to burn anybody, and yeah, I got it right. Oh, separate, oh separate, 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 not close, not close, separate. No, no, it's okay. 30 seconds. You can put it on. Oh, sigh of relief when the cup is on the plate. <laughs> Let me assist you. Five, four, three, two, one. Stop cooking! Brilliant. Big cooks and little cooks, I'm really looking forward to tasting this and chefs as well. What was the experience like for you? It was awesome. I really liked it and we got a lot of advice as well from okay. Chef Coco. Chef Coco, did you learn anything? I learned how much pressure there is on the other side. <laughs> okay, okay. <laughs> what was it like for you, Al Shaddai? It was really amazing. We learned a lot from our chef and we saw that there was pressure on this side. <laughs> on this side. Okay. Well, I'm going to start with which meal? This meal. Here we go. Okay. I've got butterflies. Actually, spiders instead of butterflies. I've got spiders. In terms of presentation, this is really pretty. I don't know who this plate belongs to. I love all the greens on here, the cheese, the pesto. I will reserve my thoughts and comments for the scoreboard. I love a crispy topping. The macaroni is good, cooked well, so this makes me happy, but nice, well done. Team A. That felt like the longest few minutes of the whole competition yes. so far. 
Thank you, teams. Thank you, chefs. I'm sure you are just as nervous. I was trying to watch your facial expression or whatever, but you didn't give anything <laughs> away. Well, may the best mac and cheese win. Big cooks, little cooks, and chefs. I have to be honest, because I don't know whose team it is that I'm scoring, I'm actually just as nervous as you are. <laughs> okay, here we go for the scores. Team A, for sight, you got an eight. Scores are very close, by the way. Team B, for sight, you got a wonderful nine. Beautiful presentation. In terms of smell, Team A and 8, Team B and 8 as well. In the sound element, for how well you listened and interpreted the challenge brief. Team A, you got an 8. Team B, you also got an 8. Taste. Team A, you got a 9. Team B, you got an 8. So your scores as you can calculate is neck and neck. And probably down to this last one. We are neck and neck with the other team and it's only touch that is left. Touch. Team A, you got a nine. Team B, you got an eight. Who's team A? We team A. Team A, congratulations. Yes! <laughs> Colourful tangy, tangy twist is the winners and we and go we've in done it again. <laughs> It was so hard. It really, really was so hard because where the one team failed by just one point, the other team succeeded. So well done to you both and well done to, to Coca and to Martin, to you too. As for Al Shaddai, it's been an absolute pleasure having you here in our kitchen. And blessing, I was told that when you come into this kitchen that you are going to be an absolute spark and star and you are nothing short of that. So thank you very much for gracing us with your presence. Thank you. <laughs> you have a good time? Good. You're not going away empty-handed. We've got some awesome prizes for you from Clover as well as a wonderful Bosch mixer. <laughs> and just before we go, I'm going to try and make you laugh with my Clover cheesy joke of the week, okay? <laughs> just to cheer you up. My question is, what do you call a cheese that doesn't belong to you? Blue cheese. Blue cheese? <laughs> I don't know. Not your cheese. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, guys. Thank you very much. Join us again next week on Clover's Little Big Cook-Off when we kick off into our next round. You made me proud, my girl. You made me proud. I had... <laughs>